So let's call the form where we add new customers. So here we will enter the information, the name and phone, and click save, and that will add the customer to the database. So first, let me just click cancel. And here we of course want to simply close this form and set the dialogue result as cancel. Because what I would like to actually do is that when we add the customer or when we cancel from the adding customer, I want to return back to the customer's form. So for the cancel, I'll do a dialogue result equals dialogue result dot cancel. And we will close the form. So now I'll go back to the design and double click save. And here we will start coding our logic to add the customer to the database. So first thing we need is the customer object. So I'll create that. It's going to be simply called customer. And it's going to be a new object of customers. And remember, before we actually create a new customer, we need to verify that the customer is having a different phone number than any other customer in the database. We do not allow duplicate phone numbers. So we need to call the phone number duplicate method in the customers class, and that expects the customer ID. So I have to grab that from our customer. So I'll create that customer ID, and it's going to be short. And that's coming from the customer object that we just created dot and remember, we are now actually adding a new customer, so we don't have an ID of this customer yet. But what we have is the next customer ID property that will generate the next available customer ID. So this gives us the ID of the customer. And now we can go and check for the duplicate phone number. So we'll do an if statement and check if the customer dot phone number duplicate and here we will pass those two parameters. So we'll pass the customer ID and we'll pass the phone number. And the phone number is coming from the text box of the form, which is the txt phone.txt. So if this returned true, that means it is a duplicate, then we'll simply display an error provider on our form, informing the user that the phone number already belongs to a customer. So I'll go to our error provider dot and I will set the error next to my txt phone. So that will display the little red icon next to the text box of the phone. And I will display a simple error message. So if the phone is duplicate, we'll have the error provider next to the text box for the phone displayed this message. Otherwise, if it is not a duplicate, we can now save the record in the database. So we will set the error provider to empty because now everything is okay. So set error will be empty for the txt phone and we can perform the insert. And again, that returns a Boolean if the insert was successful. So we'll grab that in our if statement. So we'll go to our customer dot insert. And here we need to pass in those parameters. So we have the customer ID, so pass that. We have the name, and that's coming from the txt name.txt. And we have the phone, which comes from the txt phone.txt. So if the insert was successful, we will return the dialog result OK. So we will have dialog result equals dialog result dot OK. And we can close the form. There's nothing else we need to do on this form. The record was saved. So let's run it and see if it works. So let's go to customer and new. And first I'll cancel. And we return back to the form that called it. And then I'll go to new. Let's add me, for example. And I'm going to use a duplicate phone number. And I know that 303-444-5555 already exists. So when I click save, Notice we have the error provider. When I hover over it, it says the phone number belongs to another customer. So I'll just change one digit. You can see my name is already there. So let's just create another customer. 
I'll go to new and I'll kind of do the same what I did before. Let's say Pavel 2 this time. And we have a 303, 444, 5555, which is a duplicate. I'll click save. So here we have a duplicate. So again, I'm going to change one digit. You can see Pavel 2 is there already. So we have the delete customer, we have the add new customer. And last thing we need to do is to modify the customer. So let's do that next.